let's say you have a number and you don't really know what the number is but it's this number okay you don't care this is x ready here's the value of x all right now let's just say there's time intervals that are one second each and at every time interval something's gonna happen okay now let's say in one case every single one second let's say you have something that makes x multiply by 1.9 but at, at this time interval guaranteed the value of x is cut in half so what that means is x is going to be 0.95 here okay this is one that was a terrible one it, it started off as a good one then i ruined it this is one god that's horrible all right so now it's a 0.95 all right well what happens when you take it times 0.95 again okay hang on well now you're at 0.905 now you're at 0.875 five six all right so by by this point here it's at 0.73 okay and you'll have this curve do this until this point but now let's say that instead you had a rule that made it go times 2.1 every time but it goes times 2.1 but then every second it gets divided in half so now it's going to do the same but it's going to go to 1.05 okay so the same thing's going to happen except the other direction until it's at 1.34 okay and it's going to do the opposite it's going to go this direction okay so after six seconds the difference between these numbers which started off as 210 versus 190 they started off only a 10 percent difference so 210 over 190 equals about 1.1 so this is about the difference of like a fit a 60 versus a 54 okay after six seconds of this pattern though the difference between the two and the spend loop is 83 percent difference so people often get mistaken here and they think well the difference between a 60 and a 54 is this one makes you spend 10 percent more mana that is not how it works with indigon because every increment that you spend more mana gives you more indigon stacks and the more indigon stacks make you spend even more mana so this is a positive feedback loop because your numbers over two this is a negative feedback loop because your number is under two the farther under two the sharper the curve will fall off for your negative feedback loop the farther over two the faster your curve will ramp up a good illustration of this if you've seen me do lightning warp maps whenever i get the recoup shrine i say watch this you want to see the most mana spent ever and i sit there and i start spamming lightning warp and refreshing cloak on cooldown and after about 20 seconds, my globe is doing this, and I'm, I'm literally spending 15,000 mana per second, and I'm outspending the Recoup Shrine. The Recoup Shrine gives me like 10k per second, and I'm beating it. it. It can't keep up. The only difference is the Lightning Warp has a 1.3 times multiplier, and my Normal Gem has a 1.1 times multiplier because I switch Calling Strike to uh, Less Duration, and Less Duration is 130, Calling Strike's 110 that difference between 130 and 110 is the difference between that curve ramping to infinity where i'm spending 15,000 mana per second and beating the recoup shrine versus my curve fall flattens off and gets back to full mana so people often get these numbers conflated and think that a 60 and a 54 is 10 percent difference in mana spending it is not it is 10 percent difference in exponent on a feedback loop that is a much bigger difference as time goes on so i would say tldr 
get between a 50 and a 56. Fifty is low gear. Fifty six is high gear. This means your crit jewels, and you have a shit ton of leech, and you can sustain it, and you kind of want to spend more. The fifty six is like one point nine nine, where after six seconds you're like here. You're gonna be more comfortable there if you have a shit ton of mana leech. But if you're at like fifty eight, you're gonna hit the positive train, and there's like no hope. You're just gonna ramp up. This is like 56 for most scenarios. I've technically shown that on a, on a perma uptime all fight, I can sustain 59, but that's with zero downtime and perfect leech cap. Okay, I know I just puked out a bunch of numbers and bullshit. If you followed it, good. If you didn't, TLDR be between 50 and 56. Good gear guys are going to want a little more toward the mid 50s. Lower gear guys are going to want as close to 50 as possible. All right. If you're on the low side and your gear gets higher to the point where you have a 50, but now you think you can outleach a 50, you can still just meter it by spamming Frost Blink more. So there, there's, there's things you can do if your number's too low. There's not much you can do if your number's too high. And for boss fights, you can do what I do, where you switch Calling Strike with Enhance which is like a times 1.09 multiplier, which basically it's 120 divided by 110, or no, 120 divided by 110 times 52. So me switching my calling strike to enhance for all fights and Ahuatl fights, I'm essentially turning my 52 into a 56 because I'm about to do a boss fight that I'm gonna be perma leech capped on with no downtime. And I can sustain that in basically only that scenario. And if you can sustain that and can spend more, then your damage is going to be way higher. Because when I was having the struggle on like those 1100 alls and my Indigon was a 50 and I just had too much, too much uh, recoup versus not enough spend, by switching Calling Strike to a Cold Penetration Gem, aka I switched a 110 multi to a 130, which effectively changed my Indigon from a 50 to a 59... I was doing over double the DPS. I went from being like most of the time at 60% mana and it would take me four phases to push him to I was going all the way down to like five or 10% mana and then barely climbing back up and I would push him in two phases. It doubled my damage. Yeah, I, I do my swap gem as an enhance because it, it benefits the cyclone speed and the shock nova shock effect. And it's just the right amount of multiplier for an easy green gem swap with call. And then I have weapon swap cyclone with call. So I have my weapon swap cyclone here on a three link versus my main one in the same button. One at a time. Alright, clears mud. <laughs> 